Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and guys today we're gonna cover the news because we got some really really cool news to talk about. First, let's go down here real fast. In the name of love, the Final Fantasy Tactics Event Dungeon is coming back. So if you guys never did this before, that's basically gonna be a uh, King Mog event or maybe they're gonna put all the stuff in the Minister Mog for now. But uh, if you're newer to the game and you haven't done this event, well, here's your chance to get some rare summon tickets. The currency is going to be some white orbs. You're going to be able to get some uh, lapis. And right here, we guys, you guys can see that we're going to be dealing with the Minister Mog for uh, changing our stuff. So think, cool things you can get. This World Crossblade. Uh, basically, this is really good in the arena because you can put sleep on everybody if you have an AoE attacker. And uh, that's pretty much the best thing you're going to get. Uh, red chocobo, chocobo, and black chocobo are going to be the bonus currency units. And uh, right here, you guys can see the character bonuses. Uh, Mercenary, Ramza, Knight Delita, and uh, Mediodul, Mediodul, Oran, Agrius, Gafgarian, and Alma, I think. I don't know, I don't remember her name. Maybe it's Alma or something. But uh, these are going to be the character bonuses. So if you guys never did this, here's your chance to basically do this now. Then we're going to keep going. Because we're going to we're gonna get some really, really cool units coming out this week. And uh, number two, Final Fantasy VII, The Will of the Planet. Diamond Weapon. So you guys will be able to fight Diamond Weapon right here. So let's see what Mr. Kupo has to say about the diamond weapon diamond weapon is especially skilled at magic attack so it may be a good idea to raise your party spr and bring units that can shield against magic attacks kupo at first your attacks will deal next to no damage but using light attacks for a number of turns will allow you to deal more damage kupo however at the same time uh, its countdown will begin and when it reaches zero it will use a very po powerful attack so prepare by guarding and using abilities that reduce damage Kupo uh, if he's weak to light somehow I feel like Aurora Fravia could be really really good because her 100% uh, light and peril could do a lot of damage but uh, I'll let you, I'll let you guys think of a team comp for that because you guys come up with crazy str crazy strats for these bosses and let's be honest uh, if it's like in Final Fantasy 7, he is not going to be that hard. He's going to be good. So, mission reward, you're going to be able to get the Rising Sun when you complete the quest. Attack 108, magic 45, it's a throwing weapon. Enables Bird Killer, so boost physical damage against Avion Monster, probably by 50%. Uh, deal lightning damage three times or more to an enemy. You get 10,000 the Chao raid coins. Defeat Diamond Weapon with a Limit Burst, two rare summon tickets, so yes please. And clear without an ally being KO, you get a 5% Moogle. So that's really, really good. And obviously you guys could use those characters. But, like I said, I'll leave it to you guys to basically use different characters and uh, destroy Diamond Weapon. Then we get fundamental, fundamental Forces. Is it going to load? If you're not going to load, my man, you're not going to load, are you? Are you? And what about now? Yeah, alright. Uh, story battle events, so that's for the new character CG Elena guys, and I gotta say her limit burst looks amazing uh, But yeah, she's gonna be a hybrid damage dealer uh, also maybe with some uh, buff cap Capabilities, so uh, we'll wait and see for the data mine So basically on Thursday when uh, we do the big download on the game We're gonna be able to see on uh, the wiki exactly what's her stuff how good she is and uh, what's her damage range and the buffs that she's able to give to the party but we're gonna be able to get a five star select summon ticket which is also also really 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 good the event period starts on friday the 19th and will end on friday the 2nd of august august 2nd should i say uh here's the way it's gonna work a little bit so uh they already have that thing in jp we're introducing a new ffb story battle event so you're gonna have like you're gonna have to unlock this stuff so almost like a story event for the characters uh fina rain lastwell there's like story events for them in the, the vortex it's almost the same thing here where you're going to be playing through a cutscene then you're going to do a battle you're going to play through a cutscene then you're going to do a battle and then you're going to have the bonus stages where you're going to be using your energy and basically you're going to get those points right here and uh, almost like the new King Mogs, the more points you get, the more rewards you start getting. So that's really, really cool. Uh, the last, you guys can see right here, Legendary, level 40. There's even the difficulty. So 90, 55, and 34. 34. Couldn't be 35 or 30. 34. Random number. 
But it's alright, so after viewing the final scenario stage, three bonus battle stage pro, elite, and legendary will unlock, will be unlocked. Take advantage advantage of this opportunity to get materials for crafting limited equipment. So you're gonna be able to get some lapis, also some rare summon tickets, which is also really really nice, and a five-star select seven ticket. Yes, please. Morgana will be available to fight in the dimensional vortex. As beautiful as she is dangerous, Morgana uses powerful elemental attack that can reduce your party's resistance against different elements. So let's see what Mr. Kupo has to say one more time. So that's the second battle we're going to be able to go through. Uh, here's some info, Kupo. Be sure to prepare methods for curing blind, ice, and dark resistance reduction, Kupo. Make sure to exploit her weakness against light and to prepare your party's elemental resistance before facing her in battle, Kupo. So light damage is going to be really effective here. Watch out for a powerful elemental uh, innervation ability which deals a tremendous amount of magical damage and reduces your resistance against multiple elements. Kupo! So here's some stuff that you're going to be able to craft. Uh, the Astral Blade Replica, Attack and Magic plus 40, Light Elemental, uh, Chance of, effic of Afflicting Blind on Enemies, Amulet of Darkness, Attack and Magic 8, it's an accessory, Boost Dark Resistance by 5%, Enables Darkness Set, Boost Attack and Magic by 5% with Equip with a Hood of Darkness, so basically all of this, once you have all of this equipped, you're gonna get those extra little stats right here, which is not bad at all. Uh, Hood of Darkness, Attack, Defense, Magic, and Spirit plus 15, Boost Dark Resistance by 20%, Enables Darkness says, Set, Boost Attack and Magic by 10% when equipped with Mantle of Darkness and the Mantle of Darkness right here. Attack, Defense, Magic, and Spirit, it's a robe or a piece of cloth. Uh, it's probably a robe. Uh, enables uh, Boost Dark Resistance by 20%, Enables Darkness Set, Boost Attack, magic by 40 percent when equipped with amulet of darkness right here so that's pretty good and the bonus characters you guys can see it, them right here elena and uh, morgana and chocobo rain these are going to be the bonus units so uh, i gotta say these characters look really really good especially elena she looks beautiful and uh, i want to check something real fast because i think i made a mistake here is he weak against lightning or light did i read too fast uh Lightning! Alright, so whatever I said about Aurora Favia, guys, forget about it. Just bring Esther. Esther is going to destroy this event. So, uh, Lightning and not Light. I, I knew I read something wrong. I knew I read something wrong. So, let's go back into the real thing right now. As I take a sip of my coffee. Since we're chilling in the far plane in the back. With my crew on the left or on the right, whatever. Uh, let's see. Elena. I love... I love guys that step up banner. So look at this step. Uh, limited to one per player. Number one is free. So it's a 10 plus one with a guaranteed gold, obviously. But it's free. So that's really, really good. Everybody's going to be able to go through the first step, which is sick. Uh, step number two, 5,000, you get a 9 plus two. And those 10 maxed out cactuars, which is amazing. Step number three, you get an 8 plus three, 8 plus three with a guaranteed rainbow. Step 4, 9 plus 2 with a guaranteed 4-star ticket. And step 5, you're guaranteed Elena. Elena? Elena. Elena. I'll just call her Elena because she's really, really good. She looks beautiful. Oh my god. They did such a good job with her. Uh, and it's 20,000 Lapis. So 20,000 Lapis, guys, is not that bad. Then you got the other one, which is a step up with both characters at the end. Uh, with a 5% Rainbow Rate. For all steps. Damn, boy. So, step number one, 4,000 lapis, you get a 9 plus 2. Step number two, 5,000 lapis, 5, lapis, you get another 9 plus 2. Step three, you're guaranteed a rainbow with an 8 plus 3. And step four, a 9 plus 2 with a. Uh, what's it got? Oh, yeah, those little tickets right here. Those little tickets. And uh, the 90% blue ticket. And on step five, you're guaranteed either Elena or Morgana, which is really, really nice. And uh, these little tickets right here that I'm pointing, once you do a full lap of the banner, plus another step, uh, those four tickets will give you a 30% chance to get a... Uh, no, you're going to get a rainbow, but it's going to be a 30% chance to be whether Elena or Morgana. So take that in note. So let's go over Elena right here. Uh, she's going to be a uh, kind of support character and also an hybrid damage dealer, which is really, really nice. Her super trust master is crazy good. 
Warrior of the Crystal, boost attack and magic by 60% and boost equipment, attack and magic when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Her trust master is even better. The Astraea, <laughs> Elena only, so that's the one thing, but that's really, really good. Uh, it's a two-handed sword, attack 150, magic 130, so that's really, really strong. Featured abilities, Blade of Crystal, damage one enemy, it's probably your chaining move. Speed of Light, enable specific abilities to be used three times in one turn. Activate one time each regardless of equipment conditions. Hmm. Then Celestial Guidance. One use every six turns. Reduces ice and light resistance for all enemies and boosts damage of certain abilities for the caster and certain allies. So that's really, really nice. I'm interested to see what's the redu uh, reduction in ice and light. If it's something around 100 or 120%, this thing is busted. Then Morgana. Her Super Trust Master, she's a magic damage dealer by the way guys. Our Super Trust Master, first Nirvana, attack 10, it's a rod. Magic 160 and Spirit plus 40 enables Virtuous Impress, boost equipment magic when armed with two one-handed weapon. Trust Master Reward, Empress's Signet, boost magic, it's a materia, boost magic by 20%, boost magic when equipped with a rod and boost parameters of Esper's evoked by 20%. Her featured abilities, unstable energy, one use every four turn every four turns, consumes a vocation, a vocation gauge to deal damage to all enemies and boosts magic and SPR and damage of certain abilities for caster. Sorry about that. Elemental innovation. Seven star only. One use every four turn reduces ice, wind, light, and dark resistance for all enemies and enables myriad arcana arcana for one turn. And Holy Radiance consumes evoke, consumes the Esper Gauge to deal light damage to one enemy and boost damage of certain abilities. Uh, now the real question, all right, the real question, should you pull for them? Uh, well, we already got a lot of strong damage dealers, a lot of strong physical attackers, a lot of strong magic damage dealers. Now the real question, if you want to pull for it, for her or for them, uh, and you don't have a lot of resources obviously step number one uh, this one right here is probably the best one since you can go through the first step and maybe get a copy of her now the real question should you pull for her well it all comes down to your personal preferences if you have the resources and you want to go for it go for her uh, she might be really really good just wait till the data mine comes out make sure that you really need that character and if you do have the resources Balls out, go for it, because she's really, really cool. Then, we're going to go in the notices right here. Comeback campaign. So, good job, everybody. A lot of you guys came back to the game. So, the milestone 5 has been reached. We're going to get all of this. And uh, let's go, guys. 100k players need to come back, and we're getting 2,500 Lapis. So, guys, keep coming back, because the game is getting a lot better. Trust me, we got a lot of cool things. We're going to get the Chamber of Challenges, which is a new thing that's going to be really, really cool. Uh, basically, we're going to go nice and easy. A new feature will become available after maintenance on July 18, introducing the Chamber of Challenges. So within the Chamber of Challenges, the bosses await challenge the boss in five different difficulties. Int, Advanced, Pro, Elite, and Legendary. Clearing the, mission, the missions will yield a new item, Red Star Quartz. And with those Red Star Quartz, you're going to be able to exchange them for uh, doors. I know it's pretty weird, but Red Star Quartz is an item used to exchange for new enhancement unit called doors. So basically, those doors, what you're going to be able to do is, uh, there's going to be attack doors, magic doors, spirit doors, defense door, HP doors, MP doors, stuff like that. So you're going to be able to increase the basic stats of your characters by one. So like they're saying right here, using a mini soul door, sacred shield charlotte on SPR will increase this by one. So let's say your max SPR. Uh, after potting her and everything is 65, you give her that one uh, mini soul door, her spirit is going to go now to 66. And you're going to be able to increase that up to 1.5 times maximum of the unit. So let's say the unit's max SPR is 100, then you're going to be able to get it 1.5, so 150. That's going to be the max, like they're, in like they're saying right here. Uh, for example, Sacred Shield Charlotte's spirit limit can be increased up to 97. Deri uh, deriving from 65 times 1.5, 97.5. So basically the way they're saying is, or max is 65, you're going to be able to get half that. And basically you're going to be able to max it out at 97, which is really, really good since you're able to increase 
the basic stats of your characters. Uh, obviously, like they're saying right here, exchange red star cords for doors by accessing the banner inside the chamber of challenges. The bosses will not stay in the chamber of challenges for long. The boss will. The boss challenge will remain for a week before a new boss challenge takes its place on maintenance day. So it's only up for a week. Then it's going to be a new boss, which is really, really cool because it's going to give you something to do during the week. Once a new boss challenge begins, the mission will be reset and clearing them will award, uh, award red star quartz again. Uh, but I think right here, I forgot to read something. Uh, yeah, you can fuse multiple doors to your units to increase each power limit. Uh, I think it's right here where once you beat, yeah, once the mission is cleared, clearing the same mission will not award any more red star quartz. So let's say you do intermediate. If you keep doing intermediate, you're not going to get more star quartz, uh, red star quartz since you already did it. So that's really, really cool, guys. Another way to make your units a little bit stronger. Then that's the the ticket we were talking about once you do the full lap of the step up and you do the first step of the second round uh, you're gonna get four of those tickets right here and those four tickets will give you a 20 percent chance to get a featured elena or morgana but it's gonna be a five star guaranteed rainbow that's for sure then the uh, exchange shop right here obviously with uh, the new step up banner you're gonna be able to exchange for more stuff right here which is really cool and maintenance is going to be there on Wednesday night. So, pretty cool news. We got some new units. Hey, my boy Zach, I still don't have you. So we got new units. Uh, we got the raids. We're going to get the soul doors. Uh, we're going to get the soul doors. We're going to get the doors. We're going to get challenges. We're going to get more Ghana. We're going to get a story event. We're getting a bunch of stuff this week, guys. So uh, really cool. And also we're getting the new, uh, the old Final Fantasy tactic events for the older players. Uh, for the newer players that didn't have a chance to basically get the equipment there. So guys, whew, that's a lot of stuff. Hopefully, let me know down below in the comment section if you're excited for CJ Elena. If you're going to pull for her, because she looks really, really good. I really want to wait and see her, uh, her stuff on the wiki. But uh, eh, we might have to go in with some tickets and also maybe with the first step. Just because it's free. And because uh, we got a lot of physical attackers, I mean, Esther right now is destroying pretty much everything. Zeno of the Better Star also, and Axstar, my boy. All power. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. We're trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. So, if you are new to this channel, please hit the red subscribe button down below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.